Hey everyone, it's Heather Marie Speaks and I'm here on location in Richmond, Virginia with a special guy. This is Bron the Flower Guy. Bron Hansboro is yeah. here with me today and we're going to talk a little bit about his business here because he is still rocking and rolling amidst the pandemic. Things have changed with event planning. I want to know a little bit about what's going on with weddings, but he creates these amazing masterpieces of floral design and i've been wow. so impressed i've seen some of the work that you've done thank you we met through um 707 he was part of the red button club and mm -hmm. dale huge shout out to them and the guys over there at 707 and such a small world he's also friends with a friend of mine keith cephas who is a sponsor for my miss richmond 2021 photography and so it was one of those just divine connections i needed to make sure i spotlighted yeah. this community well thank you i'm so glad you did absolutely in this business so tell everybody how long you've been doing floral design mm -hmm. and what you're up to right now in the middle of all of this pandemic absolutely so we started the business in 2014 um, I was coming fresh from a career in education. Okay. Um, I worked for the City of Richmond Public Schools in the capacity of coordinator for autism and low incidence disabilities. So I've always been in a people-centered yeah. career. I've always served people and so the transition to coming to become, well the transition to becoming the flower guy Brown was a pretty smooth one. I love it. And so since COVID impacted weddings, I have had my ear to the ground and my feet to the ground just really trying to feel what was happening. Um, one of the things I realized is that I can't control COVID. I can't control a global pandemic. I can't generate money from anywhere. So I needed to just be still, be quiet, and pay attention to what was going on around me. And as a result, I have come up with a re imagination or a rebranding of sorts of my Facebook community which was formerly the village okay. and it is now going to be ethos and so I'm rebranding it to help people center and rediscover reignite what makes them special I love that thank you so you know I think the event industry in particular is so visually driven and, yeah. and stimulated people tend to see something and if they're not doing it feel inadequate and so I really want to retrain people's minds to appreciate what makes them different what makes yeah. them special and um, ethos is not just really for the event professional it really is for anyone who needs to be reminded that they're special and okay. that what they're do what they do is good I love that so thank you when you started doing full floral design it was it kind of like a natural gift that just kind of came to you well I think some people would say that now okay. look, when I look back at it I'm like what in the world was that how could I have ever <laughs> sold it who would have ever wanted it right but yeah. I think the lesson in that is when you're operating in your truth and in your purpose yes. there's always somebody for your product and as you grow and as your product grows of course your client grows with them or with the product so I think that I've always had a knack for design I've always been you know pretty pretty artistic if you if, yeah. if I say so myself but I think what makes me the flower guy Braun came from continuing education and continuing to immerse myself in trends and and studying the art of floral design so some of it God given the rest of it totally self-taught and learned yeah yes. absolutely yeah. I feel like we all kind of have a God-given gift and then we can grow it oh totally that's so our responsibility it right is, it yeah. is to learn and a knowledge is power for sure absolutely so I have seen some of these amazing designs that you've been doing most mm -hmm. recently there was some sort of tulip thing I saw on yes. social media with a bike and a yes. beautiful model yes. and this floral dress tell me yes. what that was all about so that was the gather tulip festival it was or is the largest gathering of floral enthusiasts in history. Wow. Um, we had hundreds of thousands of people tune in to the virtual Tulip Festival where several designers were highlighted, all sponsored from the bulb growers and the European Union. Okay. They got together and our host Sarah Campbell from Intrigue Design brought us together to create these incredible installations. And so I was inspired by Holland and so we all know that Holland you don't really drive, you ride bikes and you know the light posts I just thought would be the perfect opportunity to kind of bring in Tulip and Holland in the way that they get around. So that was what my design was inspired by, but so many people got together and put together these amazing installations, all driven by Tulips. I think in total, we designed it with about 5,000 stems. Oh my gosh. It was over the top. Well, it's gorgeous. An honor to be a part of. Thank yeah, you. It was Thank amazing. you. I'm glad you tuned in. I did. I saw it and I'm like, okay, what is going on? Yes. So we talked a little bit when I did wedding and event planning. Yes. I did a little bit of floral arranging, but nothing like what you've done here. So well, it's pretty incredible to see people that, that have that actual knack and gift for floral design yeah. and you just run with it. Well, I appreciate that. 
um, you know, I wouldn't expect you as a planner to know how to do that. But I think that when we all stay within our zone of genius, yeah. you know, everything goes so much smoother. So I respect every category of yeah. vendor, every business and their specialty. And I want them to soar with what they do best. Yes. And I just stay in my lane. Yeah. Well, yeah. and it's important to do that for sure. Yeah. There's so many different gifts and talents that we have. Sometimes we're multi-layered. And I tell people I'm a Jane of all trades, master of none. none. There's nothing that I won't try. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. I love That's that. That's for sure. I love that. So for people that would want to follow you yeah. and um, find you on social media, how can they find you? Yeah, absolutely. If you're looking to get on the train and follow the Flower Guy Braun, you can do that simply by going to all of our social media channels, being Instagram, Facebook, all with the hashtag Flower Guy Braun. So if you just find the Flower Guy Braun, you'll find me. Um, also, you have the opportunity to join me on my ethos journey. Um, you can search that on Facebook at The Village, soon to be rebranded as Ethos. So The Village, a motivational community for wedding and event professionals. I love it. And that kind of brings me to my next question to you. Yeah. I always try to ask um, my community spotlight guests, yeah. what have you done to help with your mental health during the pandemic? And you kind of have started this yes. whole group to kind of help everyone. Help I love everyone. that. Yes, absolutely. So part of my COVID development, I call it, was getting my health in order. So I was overweight. I was stressed. I wasn't taking care of myself. And COVID gave me time. It gave me valuable time to slow down and reevaluate. Self-reflect. Self-reflect. Yes. And when I self-reflected in the mirror, I was like, I am not happy with what I see. <laughs> yeah. And my body is not happy with what it's seeing and what it's feeling and my business is impacted and everything is a snowball effect. Yeah. And so I use COVID as an opportunity to retrain my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I went on a health journey. I've lost over 120 pounds and I have put myself first. So that is what self-love, self-love, yeah. self-care, self-love and remembering that I am my biggest asset. Yeah. And so that's what I would want to encourage everyone else to do is to acknowledge your joy, your speciality, and what makes you tick and invest in it. Yeah, absolutely. And you just tapped into everything that I literally just talked about on the radio show on Monday about um, spring has sprung. It has. And it's time to water the seeds you want to see yes. grow. And some of the first things that I talked about was being self-aware, yes. to be mindful of your actions, and yes. to take control and power of what you have the ability to do and change yourself, and then yes. reach out for help for other things that you can't. So I love absolutely. that. So inspiring. Inspiring. Thank you. Is there anyone that might be um, considered famous that you've done any events and weddings for? Well, there are. I've actually done several high profile weddings and I have signed non disclosure, so I can't talk yes. about some of them. Um, but I have done um, pol politicians' children, yeah. I have done um, entertainers, um, people that we would all know. I love yeah, it. But, I and love here it. in the city, which um, one of them that I do love to do or speak about. Um, that I can speak about. I did the wedding of the great great granddaughter of Booker T. Washington. That's amazing. Absolutely. So you want to talk about a full circle moment? Yeah. And she's a historian, and to be a part of that story for her was was amazing. That's awesome. Well, yeah. I love that you are using your gifts and talents to help other people Thank and have you. to have these amazing events. Hopefully, coming up, things will open up a little bit more, and we'll yes. be able to see some grand events. We cannot wait to see some more pictures yes, from your social media. Me either. But thank you so much for all you're doing out there thank and you. using your gifts and talents and for being here with us today. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, guys, until next time for the next Community Spotlight on Heather Marie Speaks. Stay tuned. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Be mindful and make sure that you're taking care of your mind, body, and soul every day. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.